In this lesson, we're going to look at understanding the forward versus reverse reaction. What does it mean if I say I'm favoring the forward or the reverse reaction? You need to understand this before you can understand Le Chatelier's principle and the different factors that affect chemical equilibrium. As you know, a reaction is called a reversible reaction when the reactants and the products can be converted into one another. So the products can be converted back into reactants and vice versa. We get two half reactions, the forward reaction and the reverse reaction. We represent it with this double arrow over here. The forward reaction is represented by this arrow over here. And the reverse reaction is then represented by this arrow over here. So you can see that this points forwards. So when we say forward, think off to the right. And this points in the reverse direction or to the left. Now, this is very important to understand. The forward reaction uses up reactants and produces products. Remember, these are my reactants and these are my products. So if I favor the forward reaction or if I look at the forward reaction, A and B are used up and C plus D are produced, the products. So if I tell you that we are favoring the forward reaction or the forward reaction is favored, what that then means is that we have a reaction that proceeds more towards forming products rather than forming reactants. So if we favor the forward reaction, it's going to make more of C plus D by using A plus B. And just some other things that you may hear or may need to know, for favoring the forward reaction means that the equilibrium position lies more to the right because the forward reaction is pointing to the right, more products are being produced, the equilibrium position lies more to the right. The reason for this is because what happens at, at equilibrium if the forward reaction is favored is that we end up producing more C and more D. So the concentration of my products is higher greater than the concentration of my reactants. And that's exactly what that second bullet point says over there. It says the concentration of products will be higher than the concentration of reactants at equilibrium. And in a later video in this playlist, we look at something called the equilibrium constant, the Kc value, which can be calculated by looking at the concentration of products divided by the concentration of reactants. And think about it mathematically. If we have more products than reactants. If the concentration of my products is higher, think about a fraction in terms of mass. If I make the top of a fraction bigger, it means that Kc, the equilibrium constant, will be bigger. So if we have an equilibrium constant that is greater than one, then we know, okay, the forward reaction was favored. The opposite is true for the reverse reaction. I remember the reverse reaction is this one over here. Look at which way it is pointing. This way, okay, to the left. So think about it like this. The reverse reaction is going in this direction. We use up the products. Remember, again, these are reactants and these are products. So we use up the products. So we use up C and D and we produce A and B. So it goes backwards, basically. We produce A and B. So if we favor the reverse reaction, what that means is the reaction that proceeds more towards forming reactants is the one that'll happen rather than forming products. So if we favor the reverse reaction, just think of this one as being the chosen one, the reaction going this way. We're going to be producing the way the arrow points is what we are producing. We are producing more of A and B using up C and D. If we favor the reverse reaction, now remember, these are reactants, these are products. If we favor the reverse reaction, we're going to be producing more A and B. So producing, producing more A plus B and using up C and D. So think about it. The concentration of my reactants reactants on the left hand side, these ones are going to be greater than the concentration of my products. And think about what that means. That means that the equilibrium lies more to the left, the equilibrium position. And again, later on in this playlist, we'll be looking at how to calculate the equilibrium constant, Kc. It's always concentration of products over concentration of reactants. And this is where people get confused. They think that Products and reactants switch depending on which reaction I'm talking about, forward or reverse. This is always going to be considered the reactants on the left-hand side. This is always going to be considered the products on the right-hand side. So 
Kc, equilibrium constant, is equal to concentration of products over reactants. If the reverse reaction is favored, we make more reactants. The concentration of the reactants will be bigger. So the denominator of my fraction will be bigger. And as you know in maths, the bigger we make the bottom of the fraction, the smaller Kc will be. The equilibrium constant is generally less than 1. There are various factors that affect the position of chemical equilibrium, temperature, concentration, and pressure. I call it TCP. And we need to know, okay, for example, if I increase the concentration of a reactant, what does that do to the rate, the, which, which reaction is favored? Is the forward reaction favored? Is the reverse reaction favored? What does that mean for the concentration of reactants and products? What does that mean for Kc value? So that's what I'll be going through in the next video. And just remember that it links with Le Chatelier's principle. So... I'll see you then. Subscribe for more videos. Bye, everybody.